Hello, welcome to Canby Fire District's fire extinguisher training video. In this video, we will cover the following. The purpose of a fire extinguisher, the fire tetrahedron, the different classes of a fire, what fire extinguisher to use for the type of fire, and how and when to use a fire extinguisher. The purpose of a fire extinguisher is to control or extinguish small or incipient stage fires and to protect evacuation routes that fire may block directly or indirectly with smoke or burning materials. The fire tetrahedron are the four elements required to sustain a fire. In order to extinguish a fire, you must remove one or more of the elements. There are five different classes of fire. A class A fire is ordinary solid combustibles such as wood. A class B fire is flammable liquids or gases such as gasoline. A class C fire is energized electrical equipment such as an electrical panel. A class D fire is combustible metals such as magnesium. A class K fire is oil and fats such as cooking oil. This is an example of an ABC fire extinguisher. It works on class A, class B, and class C fires. It works by disrupting the chemical chain reaction and displacing the oxygen, which puts out the fire. This is an example of a water extinguisher. It is only effective on class A fires, and it works by cooling the fuel. This is an example of a class K fire extinguisher. It looks very similar to a water can, but has different contents that are designed to put out kitchen fires, specifically grease or oil fires. This is an example of a CO2 extinguisher. It is primarily used on class B and class C fires. It works by displacing the oxygen from the fuel, which stops the fire. When using a fire extinguisher, use the acronym PASS. PASS stands for pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. We will demonstrate that in the following video. This video shows using the PASS method with a water can extinguisher. Aim at the base of the flames and sweep from side to side until the fire goes out. This video shows using the PASS method with a dry cam ABC fire extinguisher. This is a graph showing fire growth. It starts with ignition, such as striking a match or a spark, and then it moves to the incipient phase. Think of like a trash can on fire. It continues to grow and then develops into the fully developed stage, which is when the whole room or all of the contents are involved, and then it moves into the decay. We want to put the fire out with a fire extinguisher when it is in the incipient phase. When to use an extinguisher. The fire is in the incipient phase and is not fully grown. It must be safe to breathe and you will not be inhaling smoke. You also must have a clear and planned escape route. Thank you for watching the Canby Fire Fire Extinguisher training video.